Huey Pierce Long, born August 30, 1893, served as the governor of Louisiana from 1928 to 1932, and later as a U.S. senator from 1932 until he was assassinated in 1935. Some people associate populism with a certain kind of politics, when in reality it can manifest itself in many different ways and attach itself to different personalities. However, one defining feature of a populist is their image as the vox populi, a Latin phrase meaning voice of the people. They will often adopt an insider-outsider status, separating themselves from the elite in order to connect with the common people. Huey Long grew up in a marginalized region of Louisiana. Against the odds, Long was able to obtain an education that would eventually lead him into a life in politics. He was well set up as a populist figure because his outsider status was verified by his upbringing. His political life was characterized by his ability to expose the schemes of the wealthy elite. The reality of the Great Depression would also have aided his political support, since his focus was on the redistribution of wealth. Long is remembered for his slogan, Every Man a King, which was coined after he introduced his Share a Wealth program. The program was a part of his progressive agenda to limit the wealth of the elite and increase the wealth of the poor. Long is also remembered for building an extensive network of highways and bridges throughout the isolated and rural areas of Louisiana, and expanding lower class access to health care and education. Huey Long is remembered as a controversial figure. He had a strong personality and was not afraid to push the limits of his power. He punished political opponents early in his career and fired hundreds of bureaucrats and civil servants. If anyone got in his way, he was not afraid to deal with them. It was arguably, arguably his unapologetic and power-hungry personality that led to his assassination at the age of 42. His killer was none other than the son-in-law of a political opponent that Long was attempting to oust from office. In many ways, Huey Long can be seen as a populist counterpart to the, U to the current U.S. President Donald Trump. Aside from the obvious distinctions, Huey being a left-wing politician, a Democrat, and Trump being on the right as a Republican, the two actually have quite a bit in common. When it comes to personality, both politicians have been characterized as strong-willed, decisive, authoritarian, and controversial. They both promised to work for the people, Long focusing on the marginalized and Trump using his entrepreneurial background to make a to make America great again. Of course, both characters had their own slogans and have used them as a catchy and creative way to gain support. Both figures tried to protect this support by creating enemies out of their opposition. For Long, this was seen through his willingness to fire politicians, and for Trump, it's probably best seen during his presidential campaign as he constantly sought to attack Hillary Clinton in the public eye. Interestingly, both figures gained a considerable amount of negative attention from the media, Long responded to this threat by starting his own newspaper. Trump, on the other hand, has repeatedly called the media fake news and chooses Twitter as his soapbox to reach the masses. Both Huey Long and Donald Trump came onto the political scene at a time of significant financial crisis, where the common people were growing weary of the powerful elites. Of course, there are significant differences in Huey Long and Donald Trump's backgrounds, Long coming from a poorer region and family, where Donald Trump was the son of a successful state developer and later became an extremely successful businessman. Uh, but one thing is for certain, regardless of their political stance, both Huey Long and Donald Trump are defined as populist leaders for their ability to create an enemy out of the elite and champion on behalf of the people.